I said I don't care about fame cause I got the Holy Ghost in me I rock with Jesus, now they ghost me He said that's how it's gonna be There are times in our lives when we have to understand that life is really bigger than us Can I get a witness in here today? Because we have to understand that there's a power that's beyond us There's a God that foreknows and foresees everything and to be a shepherd, one must understand the responsibility of his sheep. Can I get a witness in here? Some, some are obedient and some will go astray. But the shepherd has to tend to every one of them in his own special way. I don't know who I'm talking to this afternoon, but he left the 99 to find me. And here Amen. in the scriptures, we find Jesus stressed to how important each one of these little ones is to him personally for the son of man hath come to save that which is lost can i get a witness in here someone may ask what does lost mean well brother curtis i'm glad you asked i'm lost when i don't have a relationship with god i'm found when that friendship broken by Adam's sin is yes. restored. I'm lost when I'm unable to enjoy what life has to offer. I'm found when I'm yes. able to live as God intended. Jesus said that the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. But Jesus said, but I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Can I get a witness in here? I'm lost when I'm overcome by the battles of life. Can I say that one more time, sir? I'm, I'm lost when I'm overcome by the battles of life. Amen. He says, I'm found when I'm born again. Can somebody say, I'm born again? Amen. I'm born again. Uh, for everyone born of God overcomes the world. Uh -huh. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. I'm lost. When I'm wasting time and have no real meaning in life, I'm, I'm found when I discover God's purpose for my life. Can I get yes, a witness in here? Yes. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose for them. He left the 99 to save me. Paul said that he came to save a wretch like me. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son right, that whosoever right. believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Yes, I don't yes. know who 
I'm talking to this afternoon, but you should thank God that he left the 99 yeah. Yeah. to save me. Yeah. God loves us so much that he wants everybody to be saved. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. God loves you so much that even in your wretched state of mind, even in your sinful state of living, God still wants you to be saved. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. Somebody got to understand that God loves you so much. Oh, that he ain't going to forget about you. Can somebody say yeah. that? Yeah. So the Bible says that he says, yeah. I, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Yeah. See, God wants to tell you that he will never leave you, nor forsake you. So if you are astray today, you ought to thank God that he thought about you today and didn't leave you where you were. Amen? Yeah. Somebody ought to be excited today that God is still a promise keeper. Somebody ought to be excited today he's still a way maker. He's still the person that can deliver you in a dark place into a place of light. Can I get a witness in here? Do you got to understand that he thought about you even in your sinful state of mind? Amen. He thought about you when you were thinking about doing all kinds of things, but yet God still stretched out his hands to save someone just like me. Can I get a witness in here? He, he, he thought about me when he could have thought about the others that were already saved, but yet he thought about the one that had the sin, that the sin in their lives so much that he turned from all of that that he was tending to to come see about somebody like me. Amen. You ought to be excited today that he didn't forget about you. Amen. You should also be thankful that God ain't going to forget about those that you love too. Amen. See, he knows what our hearts desire. He knows that we are searching for a God like him. Can I get a witness in here today? See, I want you to understand that even though you are going through what you are going through, you ought to be thankful that God ain't forgot about you. You ought to be thankful that God still loves you. You ought to be happy that God wants to bless you even when you should not even have what you have. Amen. Y'all yeah, want you to understand that he left the 99. Uh-huh. Why is that so important? Because the 99 wasn't going astray. Amen. You are tended to go your separate ways from the Lord, but yet God says, I got to go back to them that are lost. Amen. See, he came to save the lost. Amen. He came to save the wretched mindset of mankind that don't want to be bothered in their sin. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. And God wants us to know yes. today that he is still God. Amen. He is amen. still a God of love. He's still a God of might. So you got to understand that you have been thought about. Yes. You have been thought about. Amen. So because the devil, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I mean, that if the devil had his way, amen, you would have been dead in your sin. If the devil had his way, oh, you can be here today to give a testimony on how good God is. If the devil had his way, oh, certainly somebody ought to be thinking about those times when you should have been dead. Or somebody should be thinking about those times when you couldn't or should have not have made it. But if you got the Lord on your side, Amen. If you got the Lord on your side, I'm going to say it one more time. If you have the Lord on your side, the devil can't take you out. The devil can try, but he cannot succeed. The devil can push his way, but he will not succeed. For the Bible says, oh my God, God is going to tell somebody something that uh, the weapons may be formed, but they shall not prosper. See, I want you to understand today that when he left the 99 to save me, it was not by chance or accident. Come on, Pastor. Come on. It wasn't by chance or accident because I believe in Jeremiah. He said that he from the, from the womb he knew who you were. Oh, uh, he, he, he knew that you was gonna be something special. He knew that you were gonna have an anointing on your life. He knew that if the devil was gonna try you, he knew that you were gonna face some difficulties. He knew that you were gonna stand against some trials and some tribulations, but yet he thought that. You can be somebody. Oh, somebody going to listen to God. But through all and all, God still loves you just as much. Can I get a witness in here today? So don't be discouraged in your well-doing because in your season, you shall reap 
if you faint not. Can I get a witness here? See, I need the church to know that they say, even while you're going through what you're going through, he came to save you. He came to save the lost. He, he came not to change the law, but to fulfill the law. Can I get a witness to know that? So you ought to be happy today that he found you. Even in your mess. Even in your sin. Oh, God found you. I come on. I took somebody in the Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, that my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me because if it had not been for the Lord on my side. Oh, somebody want to help me say it. Say if it had not been for the Lord on my side. Oh, somebody want to miss it. If it had not been for the Lord on my side. Oh, my God. I would have missed heaven. Oh, I would have missed heaven if it had not been for the Lord on my side. I would have missed heaven, y'all. Because you got to understand that the devil wants to steal your joy. The devil wants to steal your peace. The devil wants to take your soul. But if it had not been for the Lord, oh, when I was in my sin, I was in my mess. He still thought about me. He still made a way for me to escape from the hands of my enemies. Somebody else to be and he left the 99 to save me. Oh, somebody gonna miss it. See, God wants you to know that he thought about you. Oh, even in your sin, oh, some of us was drug addicts. Oh, some of us were uh, alcoholic abusers. Oh, some of us were some of us were some of us were some of something. But either way it goes, God saved you from all of that sin. God turned to a crowd. Somebody will miss it. He still pressed his way 
even though he didn't have to, amen. He still laid up on that cross and died for you and I. But you should be excited today that he left the 99. Yes. Hallelujah. He left the 99 to save an old wretch like me. So you should never sit down on God. You should never, never stop giving him the praise. Because you know what type of mess you was in. You know the life that you was living. You know that everything you did under the sun, you should have thought about God could have allowed the devil to take you out. But he saved the soul. And you should give testimony every chance you get. You should thank God for saving you. So now I want you to understand in my conclusion. My God, this is for somebody. Don't miss this one. In my conclusion, you stay connected to the source. Come on. Come on, man. Stay connected to the source. To the source. I ain't talking about the plug in. I'm talking what goes into the plug in. Stay connected to the source. Because in this hour, the thief, the thief is still trying to kill, steal, and destroy. So what I'm saying to you today, be not dismayed in what the devil is trying to do. Stay connected to your source. Amen? Don't allow no distractions to delay your destiny on what you thought it was. Understand that God says stay connected to me. Meaning that if you got to read your word daily. It means if you got to pray without cease, without praying. I want you to understand whatever you got to do to stay connected to the source. God has said stay connected to me now. Because the days are drawing near that I'm soon to come back. Can somebody say he's coming back? So, so you got to understand that I got to stay connected. Because there is going to be a false prophet. There is going to be somebody that's going to come that's going to prove to the very elect. But God says stay connected to the source. Oh, I wish somebody could understand what God says. So you can be easily tricked back into sin. Easily. If it says that he can fool the very elect, that means that some of us mm -hmm. in here can easily go back into some scene. But he says that if you stay connected to me, he says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. If you trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not to your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. And the Bible says that he shall direct your path. So I hope that somebody be encouraged enough to know today that he left the 99. To stay a wretch like me. So if you want to know why I'm happy today, if you want to know how I'm giving him some praise today, if you want to know how I'm lifting up the name of God, it's because he saved me from a life of sin. Oh, and I ain't ashamed oh, of the gospel. Yes, yes. I'm not ashamed Have to Have proclaim it. God as my Lord and oh, Savior. Oh, I'm not ashamed. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not ashamed to confess him as my Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. 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 H